A reading from the Holy Bible, the New American Bible, Exodus chapter 24, Ratification of the Covenant. Moshe himself was told, Come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, with Nadab, Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. You shall all worship at some distance, but Moshe alone is to come close to the Lord. The others shall not come too near, and the people shall not come up at all with Moshe. When Moshe came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of this of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moshe then wrote down all the words of the Lord. And rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moshe took half of the blood and put it in, a lar- in large bulls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, All that the Lord has said we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant, which the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his. Moshe then went up with Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, and seventy elders of Israel, and they beheld the God of Israel. Under his feet there appeared to be sapphire tile work, as clear as the sky itself. Yet he did not smite these chosen Israelites. After gazing on God, they could still eat and drink. Moshe on the mountain. The Lord said to Moshe, Come up to me on the mountain, and while you are there, I will give you the stone tablets on which I have written the commandments intended for their instruction. So Moshe set out with Joshua, his aide, and went up to the mountain of God. The elders, however, had been told by him, Wait here for us until we return to you. Aaron and her are staying with you. If anyone has a complaint, let him refer the matter to them. After Moshe had gone up, a cloud covered the mountain. The glory of the Lord settled upon Mount Sinai. The cloud covered it for six days, and on the seventh day he called to Moshe from the midst of the cloud. To the Israelites the glory of the Lord was seen as a consuming fire on the mountaintop. But Moshe passed into the midst of the cloud as he went up on the mountain, and there he stayed for forty days and forty nights.